What's up, superstars? Back at it again with another vlog. You know, it's been a couple of, well, a little bit longer than a couple of days, but it's been a little while since the last time I did a vlog. And I'm reaching back out to y'all just to let you know I'm still here. I haven't quit or fell off. Just uh, had a couple of setbacks, some uh, work hours and other things. Bad weather again, as always, right now this time of year. But I'm still in the game and I'm still going to grind. I'm still trying to come up and, you know, build this channel up from the ground up. Uh, this right here is a story about missed opportunities. Because... Just this past weekend, uh, there's a guy, some of you all may know him, some of you may not. His name is TJ, the Millionaire Mentor. And uh, he was having a cars and coffee type of event uh, here in the D DMV area. And uh, he had just had his uh, uh, 812 Superfast uh, mod, had some stuff done to it, changed up the way it looked and everything. And he was doing an unveiling. Uh, and it was this past Sunday. And my intentions were to make it to that. Uh, good opportunity. Uh, other YouTubers were there. Some big YouTubers. Some big YouTubers were there. Like Savage Garage. Uh, and some other guys. Um, it would have just been a good opportunity to get out. And kind of start familiarizing myself with the, you know, the car community. And just getting out and, and uh, expanding my uh sphere of influence you know so to speak uh when you the importance of going to those type of events yeah you get to see a lot of cool cars because people drive their cars there and uh then obviously the car the this main attraction is always going to be a really nice car um but you also get to meet different people you get to meet uh the people that you wouldn't meet ordinarily uh, and then, you know, obviously the first few times you're there, you know, you'll be a stranger and you'll be treated as such. But just like that's just the way things are. But over time, when you keep being seen at different events in different places, then you'll become familiar with people and they'll become familiar with you. That's how you build relationships. That's how you create new relationships and business opportunities, future opportunities. And that's the whole purpose, trying to build this channel up, trying to build everything up. Like I said, I have big plans for this channel, uh, for my family and I, and for you all as well. So it's all uh, part of the process. But, uh, things happened and I was unable to make it uh, so that's why I say a missed opportunity but you know while that's you know it's sad that I missed that but the good thing is there will be more that's the reality of it there will be more and um, I will be making more you understand so it's just one of those things you can't let it get you down uh, there's gonna be setbacks there's gonna be things that don't go the way that you uh, hope want wish pray plan you know, but you got to stick with it. Just say, okay, that didn't work out, but there's going to be other opportunities and I'm going to make sure that I'm available and I take advantage of those opportunities. So this is just one, another one of those things. Like I said, I'm trying to keep you all in the know and see and experience this thing as I experience it and learn it so that you all can see and learn from the mistakes that I make. This idiot don't know where he's going. But, um... And that just gives you an opportunity to avoid some of the things, you know, have, uh, make sure that you're uh, readily available. Make sure that um, if you can find something out, you find it out as soon as possible that you plan around it. You plan that into your schedule, whatever it may be, whatever's going on, you make sure that it's a part of what your plans are. So, uh, and that's that's how you avoid those situations. You know, life is, uh, is full of, uh, it's full of opportunities and it's full of pitfalls. So you have to understand that you're gonna fall in both. You're gonna fall into some opportunities, you're gonna fall into some pitfalls. You never get too far up, you never get too far down. Just know that there's always, no matter where you are, there's another side to it. You know, millionaires and billionaires have their bad days. You understand? So for if you're not in that realm, then you have to understand that you're definitely gonna have them as well. So not crying over spilled milk not you know uh obviously i wish i would have been able to take advantage of it because that would have just been a better opportunity and it would have brought me one step closer to uh where i'm trying to go and the things i'm trying to do 
But having said all that, just because it didn't happen now, the weather's about to break in the, in the DMV area. So it's gonna get nice and it's gonna be a lot more opportunities. I promise you all that. And I'm going to be taking advantage of them. There's gonna be a lot of things to see. There's gonna be a lot of things to do. And I'ma see them and I'ma do them. And you all gonna come right along with me. So, you know, everybody that's taking the time out to watch these videos, if you subscribe, thank you. If you watch my videos, thank you. If you like them, if you hit that notification notification bell thank you i trust me i, I appreciate it um i stay in my comment section just trying to see if anybody's reaching out and anybody has anything to say try to make sure that i um stay active with that so that when that opportunity comes to interact with y'all that i am there that that it that you know that you all know that i'm not just talking so um and like I say, this is this is only the beginning. And shoot, I have 12 followers right now. That's the blessing. I mean, let's keep it real. I could have zero followers right now. So I'm by no means am I looking at it like, oh man, it's this way or that way. No, it, it's just the reality of the situation is it takes time. This is a process. It's not an overnight thing. You know, uh, overnight success happens for very few. For the most of us, you, we have to work at it. We have to make good decisions, uh, end up in the right areas. Sometimes by accident, you just be there and you take advantage of the opportunity. And that's something else that I'm trying to uh, prepare myself for or ready myself to, to maintain that availability, that always ready mentality by just keeping my camera with me. Make sure I got batteries, it's charged up, my you know memory card's all good, it's ready to go. And that any time an opportunity presents itself, that bop, pop that thing out. Even if I don't put it on the tripod to hold it like this, that I get that footage, no matter what it's got to be. You know, because things happen all the time. And a lot of times you don't plan things, but you just be somewhere and something happens. And you need to be ready to, to capture those moments, to share with you all so you all can see these things. So that's just uh, a little, little food for thought, you know, just whatever you want to do whatever it is uh to be always ready you know be diligent in your efforts be uh proactive in your planning and uh be reactive when necessary you know but the importance is is that you take advantage of the opportunities like you can't plan everything but you you if you get that opportunity you have to have a ready set mind that you can uh, quickly react and take advantage of it because, hey, oh, here's an opportunity. Bam, I'm on it. You know what I mean? If you get the chance to meet someone that's in a, uh, in a place that you're trying to go, or, you know, a businessman or a woman or, you know, an entrepreneur of sorts, if you're, you know, trying to become an entrepreneur, whatever it is to um, just get in that mindset. And that's why I wanted you all to meet my friend Kareem because the simple fact that if you listen to that video, if you watch that video, you know that he's been through a lot. He's been in some uh, pretty high security prisons. He's been in in a lot of situations, but the one thing that he always did, he never let that define him. He never let that d dictate or determine what it is he's trying to do, where his mind was going to go. He didn't stay in the jail cell, you understand? He stayed thinking outside the box what am i going to do he writing scripts he wrote he didn't even i don't even think he said anything about the albums that he wrote he had he put out some albums as well and i have both of his cds you know and he, he has a lot of mixtape music that i don't have even you know and uh the movies that he's wrote is crazy and so there's no excuses for anyone because if anything he had the excuse that who can argue with it man i'm locked up what am i going to do i'm just trying to survive it's dangerous people getting stabbed and killed in here none of that matter he handled himself he did what he had to do and he he made sure that this position that he was in when he left the streets he wouldn't go back and be in that same position where he has to return to that same lifestyle and that's the thing sometimes you make mistakes sometimes it's not a mistake it's just a bad choice because a mistake is when you didn't mean to do it a bad choice is when you thought you you know you knew what you was doing but it didn't work out the way you wanted that proves out to be a bad choice so just keep all of these things in mind and just know that opportunities life it moves it keeps going and you can't get stuck 
You can't get stuck in good moments. Something good happened, you catch it, bam, and you know you move. Don't stay stuck in it. Move on to the next thing. Keep looking forward. Keep looking to grow, to improve, to to learn something new, to get better at whatever it is that you're doing. Always strive. Always uh, keep that mindset, that forward thinking. Don't get caught up in the moment. You know, whether it's good or bad, because sometimes bad things happen. And what do we do? Oh, Lord, why me? Blah, blah, blah. You know, we go through all of that and and it, it takes your focus off of what you should be focusing on. Or sometimes something good happens and it's the same. It's the same thing, but in the reverse. Where it's like, oh, yeah, this happened. Oh, yeah, man. And you just stuck on that and you're not getting better. You're not improving. You're not learning anything new. So just know that that's what successful people do they stay growing you know what i mean no matter where they are you look at people it's like dang you have all of this money billionaire and you still chasing dollars it's not about chasing the dollars they got more money than they can spend but it's about growing and improving the money comes along with it so it's it's that type of thinking that you have to have you you know because a lot of people focus on the problem and they waste time focusing on the problem. The focusing on the problem is not going to get you anywhere. Focus on the solution to the problem. Acknowledge the problem. Understand the problem. Focus on the solution. If you do that, trust me. Trust me. It's going to get you going to go where you want to go. And uh, that's just the reality of it. You know, just always remember that. Acknowledge the problem, but focus on the solution. Whatever it is, it don't matter how big or how small. If you focus on the solution, you'll you figure it out. But if you focus on the problem and that what was me mentality, you're going to stay wallowing in it. And that's not good for anyone. So, like I say, I just had to reach out to you all superstars because it's been a minute. Longer than I would have liked. Like I said, I thought I was going to be able to do something that just didn't work out. But, uh... Just know I'm still here and I will pop these blogs up just so we can talk and y'all can just kind of get to know me a little bit and understand, see how I talk and how I think and all of those things because it's really about building a relationship with you all and y'all coming to understand who I am and you know, so when you rocking with me, you know who you rocking with. So that's all that's about. So just uh, thank you for taking your time out to uh, look at this video. I uh, hope that you like if you're not a subscriber, you subscribe, hit that bell notification, share it with anyone, everyone. It doesn't matter. You know, I appreciate all of it. And I, I thank you all, and I appreciate you more than, you know, words can say. And like I say, so uh, thank you. Y'all have a, a wonderful and blessed day, and I'll see you next time. And I'm out. Peace.